Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Another teaser on the Phoenix A320. This time I will show you how easy you can fly training scenario. For this, you need FSI Panel Advanced Edition. So let's see how we do it. The first training scenario is in Frankfurt, runway 25 left. So I just loaded the aircraft as you can see with engines running on runway 25 left in Frankfurt. So let's start FSI Panel and you will see what you have to do to fly a training scenario. On this training now I will drag and drop the file over my desktop and you can see that the training scenario has been imported successfully. So if we look into the instructions, this is what you will get for every training scenario. There you can see that you have to position yourself in Frankfurt on runway 25 left and you can see your clearance Cindy to Foxtrot after Cindy direct to Charlie and Old for the ILS 25 left. Initial clearance is to climb to runway heading 3000 feet and accept further clearance when airborne. So what we have to do is start MSFS on 25 left. This is what we've done. Then you can set any desired weight and fuel for your aircraft. Then you start FSI panel and then we start the training scenario. There is a lot of hints there for your training scenario so you can review that as well and when you're ready then you can fly that scenario so let's go back into fsi panel and now you see that the training scenario is imported successfully and i'm ready to start it so before starting it i will just set the weight for my aircraft so the first thing here the engines are running and i found out that when you start on the runway most of the time you have still the gpu connected and the chocks so that's the first thing i will do there remove the chocks and the GPU and and the mass and balance there you can change your weight as desired if you want an heavy aircraft or a lighter aircraft change the weight as you like here so on that flight I will just leave it standard I don't want to change anything so I will use those figures all right so now that I'm ready I'm I will press start the training scenario there and you will see what happened in your cockpit so start scenario and preparing now your cockpit so you will see that FSI panel is now doing everything for you setting all the lights and setting your cockpit now the MCDU will be programmed with the flight plan that you need to fly for that training scenario it's a local flight so FSI panel will set everything for you so that you can fly that training scenario so you can see now the flight plan the uh, cruising altitude the cost index will be set now the departure will be selected we are on 25 left Cindy to Foxtrot and then we will arrive most probably on 25 left via Charlie Hotel Alpha and the holding will be inserted as well here should you need it you never know what's going to happen in a training scenario so then we are ready the next thing you can see FSI panel is asking you to set the zero fuel weight and CG in the MCDU in its page so basically I will set my actual aircraft zero fuel weight 44.1 and 27.8 so we will set that here 44.1 and 27.8 that's it and the next thing we have to do is to calculate our performance set your takeoff speed and check everything okay with takeoff config so if you go performance we will do that right now Now we're going to test again and takeoff config is normal, right? So now we've done everything. I just have to click acknowledge and then I get my first ATC instructions. Clear for takeoff, runway 25 left. Clam 3000 feet runway heading. Expect radar vectors for LS25 left. All right. So as you can see now, the cockpit has been set properly for you. Your flight plan is inserted. We have the auto brake max. We should have the speed brake arm yeah so basically we are ready to go so let's go for the takeoff and you will see what happened so let's go airborne all right just departed airborne climbing above 1000 feet we were clear on waiting now we get an instructions turn left heading 1c0 climb and maintain 3000 before acknowledge make sure you do 
whatever you require to do so heading 160 climb and maintain 3000 we have already 3000 in the fcu so that's perfect so 160 here we go acknowledge river to climb All right, now we get an instruction, FSI panel 001, climb 5000, direct Charlie Hotel Alpha VOR, join the holding as published. And when ready, we are clear for the earliest transition. All right, so let's do that, 5000 feet. Up climb, and then direct to Charlie. Inserted, and nav. Turning to Charlie, we'll get ready for the approach. We were told to expect ILS 25 left, so at that time I will start approaching, doing my briefing. I have time because I'm going to the holding anyway, so that's not a problem. Oh, now I can see that I have something on my left engine. Looks like the oil pressure is low, so we have to be careful with that. So luckily for us, we are very close to the uh, Charlie waypoint and we're already clear for the approach so here I will prepare my MCDU and everything and as you can see that's not a good sign if you lose a little bit more pressure then you will lose your engine so be careful there the training scenario will continue to give you all the instructions you need you are clear for the approach and you will get the landing clearance and you will be guided so just do whatever you have to do think about that that can become anytime soon a failure so that's it fsi panel will keep you entertained and oh that's it we've got engine one low pressure master warning and now i have to take the ecam actions and shut down the engine for a single engine approach in frankfurt all right guys i hope you enjoyed that video i wish you as always safe flight and if you have any question or comment please please drop it below and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and see you next time bye bye